Today, a big ship arrives in a small city. Algoma welcomes the Viking Polaris cruise ship, making it an international port of entry to the U.S. New at 4, Emily Riley was at the port in Algoma this morning, where locals gave a warm welcome to the passengers. We're having, we're having a great time. We're here in Wisconsin. Yeah. Yes. Passengers from all over the country were beaming with excitement as they stepped off of the Viking Polaris cruise ship Friday morning. Going on a wine, beer, wine and cheese tasting tour, tasting <laughs> tour today. Just to see your uh, the other half Good of our cheese. family uh, went off to see uh, Lambeau Field. I looked on the Google and the population about 3,000, so I'm expecting a really quaint, friendly, Atmosphere. <laughs> These 375 passengers are now halfway through a 15 day cruise exploring all five of the Great Lakes. Rosemary Palladini, the executive director of the Algoma Area Chamber of Commerce, says Algoma is the only city in Wisconsin the ship is stopping at. A small town, but with lots of big smiles to greet them as they came on shore today. The Chamber of Commerce hosted a pop up welcome stand near the marina. Palladini says there's available excursions for cruise ship passengers to enjoy. After docking, passengers can choose to be bused to Door County or Lambeau Field. The port was also busy with dozens of people gathered watching passengers come and go, like Jim and Nancy Marshall. Real awesome. Wisconsin pride, and we sure hope that uh, both Viking and its uh, travelers on it ha are enjoying themselves so that they come back to Algoma again, right? The cruise ship leaves Algoma Friday night at 6 p.m. The next stop is Alpena, Michigan. In Algoma, Emily Riley, Action 2 News.